Hi, I'm Josh, and today I'm cooking a dish I call insanity that can only be described as the devil's curry. A touch of sugar creates a sweet surprise, followed by a fireball of heat from the scotch bonnet, bird's eye, naga and finger chilies. Don't forget you can always remove the chilli seeds and the white pith for a little less heat, and remember to wash your hands well after handling these chilies. This week I'm giving away four jars of Mr Naga Pickle. Full details on how to enter are in the description below. Before I begin, please consider subscribing, hit that like button and notification bell, thanks. To begin, we're going to make the chilli paste. So in a blender, add the garlic paste, ginger paste, oil, water, scotch bonnet, bird's eye chilies, Mr Naga and finally a good squeeze of lemon. Blend for around 30 seconds until you get a smooth paste and place aside. Don't breathe it in as you take the lid off like I did. Okay. <coughs> now with your pan on low to medium, add the oil, ghee, cassia bark and mustard seeds and stir gently until the mustard seeds start to pop. When they do, add in the chopped onion, stir through and allow to soften and brown. Don't rush this part as you want the onions to sweeten slightly. When ready, add in the tomato paste and stir through. Allow to cook out for around 30 seconds to remove the bitterness. Now carefully tip in the chilli spice paste, stir through and allow to cook out for a couple of minutes to release the flavours and aromas. As the oil starts to separate, add in the spice mix, chilli powder and Kashmiri chilli powder. Stir through once again and wait until the oil starts to separate. Remember to always make sure your spices are cooked through properly at this stage, otherwise you'll get gritty or grainy curries. Turn up the heat to max. Add half the heated up base, stir through and allow to reduce by half before adding the remainder. Add in your choice of protein and coat to stop it drying out and allow to cook through for a few minutes. If using prawns, add them in the last five minutes to stop them getting rubbery. Add in the sliced green chilies, sprinkle over the mephi, crushing it in your fingers, then tip the white vinegar and brown sugar. Stir through and allow to reduce to your desired consistency until your choice of protein is cooked through. Garnish with some fresh chopped coriander and crushed dried chilies. Please remember to subscribe, comment and hit that like button and find this and many more recipes on my website at thecurrykid.co.uk.